Well, hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here coming to you live for another prospecting tip and challenge of the day. As we get started, I would love to go ahead and get acquainted. If you don't mind, shout out in the comments below who you are, where you're tuning in from. You can drop a number one in the comments as well. If it's your first time watching, I would love to warmly welcome you, whether by live or by the replay. And don't forget, you can click the share button for a chance for a shout, share it on a team page for a virtual viewing party or in an inbox with a friend. Remember, as always, the more who know, the greater your team will grow. So pumped to be with you guys here today. Um, today, we're going to be talking about trade shows, why they're terrific, and how they can help you to generate network marketing leads. Now, this may be something you've never done before, but let me just say, some of our top leaders in our company and some of the top leaders on my team came from these events. So whether you're going as a guest or setting up as a vendor, they can be gold for your network marketing business. So who's excited for this topic today? Give me a quick little thumbs up, some hearts, some love. Um, I know I am. As we get started and you introduce yourself, I'm going to quickly introduce myself to our first time viewers for today. Um, who am I? I'm Sarah Robbins. I'm a former kindergarten teacher turned one of network marketing's very top leaders. I've personally sponsored over 300 people to my team. We've built a team of over 300,000 distributors and together did over a billion dollars in sales in just a year. And I do share my best practices in my best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. You can find audio, Kindle, or hard copy on Amazon or bulk discounts for team gifts at sarahrobbins.com. Just right inside, you rock. A little uh, nice memo from you. And on my site, by the way, sarahrobbins.com, there's some great materials as well, some awesome master classes. My top two last year, you know, a lot of times people say, which one should I pick? Our top two sellers from last year are Rock Your Recruiting, where I give you two hours worth of training on how to prospect and find new leads, along with downloads. So um, a guide for every single place I've ever found my business partners. Um, over the past 12 years and then scripts exactly who to talk to and what to say um, and we've gotten rave reviews for that also social media that sells how we did the majority of that online we talk about how to build your business online without any paid advertising at all we have a specialist on Instagram myself on Facebook that's where the majority of my leads came and we teach you how to do it all virtually as well so it's super powerful as well so rock your recruiting social media that sells. They're being offered now at an introductory price. Um, and while you're there, you can find my CDs. This is my um, uh, entire system for network marketing success, CD or MP3, and my leadership edition. Tons of resources there as well as free training. So I do hope that that helps you to rock your business. All right, we've got enough people that are tuning in today. I'm seeing all of your hellos and um, all of your comments. So I'm super thrilled to be with you guys today. Today we're going to be talking again about trade shows and why they're terrific for building leads for your network marketing business. In the beginning days of building my business, I was always thinking I was shy, I was young, I was broke, my network was young and broke like me. So I was always innovative and I think, how can I get this in front of a lot of people all at once? And now today, some of my top 10 leaders actually came from connections at trade shows, whether I hosted a booth or I went as just, you know, a customer um, or a guest at the event. They're, ton they're tons of fun and really a great way to network and meet new people. So what are trade shows exactly? It can be a booth that, you know, is set up during like a fair, during the holidays, or, you know, sometimes during the summer months at a school or at a church. Sometimes they're women's events. Sometimes they're other vendor events. So for example, small business owners will set up. Um, and um, I'm going to give you today just kind of five tips to help you to build a successful event at these trade shows or events. Now, here's the thing I will say, um, you know, first and foremost, before I get into that, when I started, I was like, well, gosh, how do I get into those big women shows? And let me just be the first to say, I'm not dogging them. I'm not dissing them. There is a way to do them well, but they cost thousands of dollars. And that was money I didn't have. When I started my business, if you read my book, um, Rock Your Network Marketing Business, I talk about my beginning days, I had 25 cents in my bank account, okay? So I didn't have thousands of dollars to do a trade show. Can anybody else relate? So what I did when I saw those big shows is I would find people on other teams, doesn't even have to be your own team, 
we would split up the event in shifts and then we would split up the cost therefore as well. You wanted multiple shifts, you paid that times as many you know, dollars per shift to secure a spot. So there's a way that you can do it that way. But here's what I found. It's actually the smaller shows. So the ones that are at schools or churches, you know, sometimes I'd spend 50, 100 bucks. And I would say, well, gosh, if I can sell, you know, one of my products, I'll break even and anything else is profitable. And I'd go with the idea in mind, I'm gonna at least get one customer or one new business partner, which is totally doable. But here's what I found at those smaller shows. It was much easier for me to connect with people and develop quality conversation, therefore quality leads when I had more time to really connect and make an impact. So that's a quick little tip for you. So again, today I'm going to talk about five tips to having a successful trade show or vendor event that will help you to build leads for your network marketing business. Okay, tip number one. First and foremost, where do you find events? So I'm going to just look at my notes here and give you some websites of places that you can go. Um, there's a website called Eventbrite. You could go on Eventbrite. You could go to Craigslist under events. You could go to Eventlister, which allows you to search by zip code, or you could even look around on Facebook events. Now, when you go to Facebook, click on events, it'll tell you different events that are happening in your area. Um, some, some networking groups have events too. So like BNI or LBN, you can call them and ask them if they have any vendor events coming up. Um, which we're going to be talking about on one of our upcoming episodes on networking groups and how you can leverage that. But again, you can, you know, Google trade shows or, you know, events, vendor events in my area as well. Um, but again, the idea is to pick something inexpensive where you can have a great impact. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second tip is how do you set up? Setup is absolutely critical. So if you know the background of my story, like how I got started in network marketing, I never had any experience whatsoever in network marketing. So my background is I was actually one of the first um, distributors in my company, myself and my mom. We were the first two. How did we get acquainted with the company? Um, we were working as product educators for the company. So we were freelancers. We would go in and do events for them. Okay. We didn't work for the department store. We worked for the brand. I was in the right place at the right time as our company was looking for ways that they could expand and bring this to the masses. And um, long story short, uh, you know, they offered us the opportunity to end up joining them in direct sales. So why do I tell you that story? So here's the deal. When we were product educators for the company, they taught us how to pull people, how to host events. So here's what we did. Because again, they were literally paying us big money hourly to bring people in and introduce them to the products. You know, like you see the girls that are, you know, doing the perfume on cards and whatever the case may be. They were paying us big money to go in and make an impact in a short period of time. So they taught us how to pull people. So how did we do that? So this is my tip number two in terms of setup is you have a raffle set up. So something from your company that you're willing to invest in to raffle out free product, whatever the case may be, a gift basket of some sort and have that displayed. Why? I'm going to explain to you that in, in tip number three, how to get people interested. So hang on here, but make sure that you have a raffle or something set up. Okay. And that's going to be pulling people, which is going to be the next tip. The other thing you want to do for setup is push the table to the back of the booth. So some people make the big mistake is you're sitting behind the table and you're waiting for people to come up. Here's the problem with that. It's not inviting at all. Your business is your priority, not theirs. You want to create an open and welcoming space where people come in. So push the table to the back of the booth, stand. Yes, you're going to be wearing comfortable shoes so you can stand during your shift. And you're going to create a welcoming space. Your products displayed beautifully. You can have little risers or even cardboard boxes that you cover up with a tablecloth to add some nice height. Your little raffle there, your order forms, your raffle forms, everything set up beautifully, but in an inviting way for people to come in. Okay. Step number three, this is your goal. This is what you guys are waiting for. How do I pull people? How do I get people to come in? I don't know what to do and how to engage. You guys want to hear that? If so, say yes. Okay. So here's what we do. Um, this is where you're going to get out. And again, you're creating this welcoming space. You're going to go and you're going to make contact with people. So you'll walk up to somebody and say, 
hey, I've got this awesome raffle here. It's our best selling, whatever it is. And um, because they know purchase necessary, I want you to come and enter to win. Come on over. Notice I don't ask questions. Questions can lead to the response of no. So I don't ask questions, I make suggestions. Hey, come on over, we're doing this awesome raffle. I'd love for you to have a chance to win. No purchase necessary, just come on in, enter your name, your information. You know what I love? Now you're developing a leads list. Isn't that beautiful? It's brilliant. Names, emails, contact information, people that you can follow up. And I'll teach you how to make it a quality leads list in just a moment by asking validating questions. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull you in, you're filling out the information. And the next thing I'm going to do is say, you know, if you could change one thing about your skin, what would it be? And, you know, if it's, you know, health and fitness you're into, you could say something like, you know, so what are your um, health goals or your fitness goals for 2019? So you're going to ask some sort of engaging question to engage them in your product. And as soon as they tell you the answer, you make a suggestion. Oh my gosh, come on over here. This product would be great for you. Let me tell you about it. Notice I don't say, can I tell you about it? Oh, come here. This will be great for you. Let me tell you about it. I don't want to ask questions that lead to a yes or no, right? A closed door. And then I start telling you about the products, making suggestions and recommendations. And I can ask, you know, I've got a special today for the trade show. Would you be interested in trying them? And maybe it's a gift with purchase, something that you're offering um, just on your own. It doesn't even have to be something the company is offering, right? But ask them. And if they say no, before they walk away or as they're walking away, write the, on the back what you recommended for them as a product. Because this way, when you follow up, that's how you create that quality connection. And, you know, just say how great it was to meet them, how you're running a special whenever that is on that particular product. And that creates a good conversation, good connection for follow up. Now, again, you're going to say, hey, come on sure to win this. Hey, have you heard of our such and such products before? And then you ask them the engaging question. If you could change one thing about your blank, what would it be? And recommend a product based on their response. And then of course, now you've got their you, a suggestion for them, a leads list that you can follow up on, okay? Number four, this is a big one. This is how I got my business partners at these events, these vendor events. Are you guys ready for this? Some of my very top leaders. One of my very top 10 teams came from this. I go all through this in my Rock Your Recruiting Masterclass on sarahrobbins.com. And thank you, Naomi, for posting the link. I'll post it at the end as well. Um, number four, this is a big one. You want to really tune in. If you're not paying attention, tune in. Um, because this is your gold. Vendors make great distributors, great leads for the business. Why? They're hardworking. They're engaging. They've got a side hustle, too. They spent time and money to set up a booth. So did you. You want something like that in your somebody like that in your network marketing business. Not to mention, they're surrounded by other direct sellers at these events. Chances are it's not the only event they've done. They're very aware of direct selling and how powerful this profession is. So here's what I do. I always go early to set up. So why do I do that? I do that so I can go and make friends. I'm typically the first one to set up and I'll go around and just make friends with people. Say nothing about my product. In fact, just the opposite, tiny, their interest, but not yours. I show interest in their product and I just build a connection. And on my breaks or over lunch, just keep going by and saying hello and making a point to really make that connection there, okay? Now, I'm the last to tear down too. Here's why. At the end of a long event, instead of tearing down and going home, I go around person to person as they're tearing down and say how nice it was to meet them and leave them with a little sample of my product and tell them that I would love to follow up and just stay in touch and talk about how we can network and help one another to grow each other's businesses. Because during that reconnection, I can not only say, who do you know it would be great for, but I could say, you know, tell me more about your business. How can, how can I support you? And then I can tell them about mine and how they could support me. But I could say, you know what? You're a hard worker. You're a hustler. I'd love to have somebody like you as a part of my leadership team. Can I tell you more about the opportunity? Not sure if you're keeping your income options open. Vendors are absolutely awesome. And tip number five, how do you turn these leads into business partners or customers? The fortune is in the follow-up. You have to follow up within a few days after the show. But now you've got some contact information of people that you can add to your email list, that you can add on social media, and that you can make that personal follow-up phone call to. 
And here's a bonus tip for you guys, and this is super powerful too. I just had somebody in the challenge group that we're doing, um, Rockstar, and she said, you know, man, bummer, I just found out that there was this event in my area. And she's like, I'm just like super, super bummed that I didn't get to it in time. She said, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a ticket and I'm going to do the same exact thing that you taught me to do. I'm going to bring my business cards. I'm going to bring my samples. I'm going to go and I'm going to network and have quality conversations. And she's leveraging that time to build connections amongst the crown crowd to make friends with other vendors. So I thought that that was an awesome million dollar idea too. What do you guys think? I want you guys to share your takeaways below and any ideas that you have for the trade shows too. And guys, if you love this training, don't forget the Rock Your Recruiting webinar. Um, it's being offered right now at an introductory price. Price It's a two hour masterclass on recruiting. Naomi posted in the comments. I'm gonna post it below as well. So if you wanna take that class, top seller of this past year, it's all of my ideas just like this two hours worth on how you can find new prospects, new leads, new business partners, new customers to absolutely rock your network marketing business. You'll get guides, which gives you all of the ideas, exactly how I found my 300 business partners and they turned into a team of 300,000, but scripts, download language too. People always say, man, I wish I could talk like you. Well, now you can copy, paste, post, read from your script. There you go. So well worth its um, price as well to help you to rock your business. All right, guys. So what did you learn from today for our tips? Who's going to go ahead and book a trade show? If so, say, I'm in. Who's going to take today's challenge? Don't forget to share this on a team page or in the inbox with a friend. The more who know, the greater your team will grow. I hope you enjoyed today's free training. There's more great value coming your way. So make sure that you like and follow our page so you don't miss one. All right, guys, have a great day. God bless. And goodbye for now. Rock on, rock stars. Talk to you soon.